Hello everyone and welcome to another World Leader PvMP video. Today I'm going to be showing you some one versus multiple fights with my rank 10 War Leader and uh, also one at the end with my rank 7 Reaver. And uh, well, as you can already tell from the title of this video, this is pretty much me uh, getting hammered because I am not thinking. Uh, the last video that I released actually, I talked about how you, you can't fight with one glove behind your with with one hand behind your back. You got to take the gloves off in the current state of the Edmores. And then literally a couple days later, I went and do I go and I do all this, which where I break my own advice and I just get slaughtered for it. And we're gonna see all the stuff. I'm gonna break it down and talk about it as much as I can and all that. But uh, I haven't actually watched these fights again ever since that happened. So this is my first look at them for a second time to see what exactly goes on in them and any of that stuff. Um, there, there's going to be some disjointed stuff and things. Uh, I, there's other commentary that goes on because I was in TeamSpeak with people at the time, and they'll, they'll be doing their own commentaries and stuff and introductions and starts for the fights. So, you know, this is just going to be a long one. <laughs> That's all I can say, but there, there will be plenty to glean out of this once we are finished, and uh, I'll have my own take on it and... Now that's just kind of where we're going to go. So let's go ahead and get started with it, and we've got uh, Andang doing his introduction. Yep. <laughs> All right. So we're getting ready to go at it, and whenever you are ready, Ivan. Unless you're on doing important things, I'm changing my title. All right, let's go. All right. All right, so right now I am going ahead and I'm walking, which this is going to just bite me. Uh, way, way overconfident. I don't even hit insert very rapidly to get moving at full speed. Now I've hit it. I'm moving full speed, but I've already taken a lot of damage, and uh, I'm still trying to kill his rock, which this is just a waste of time. Um, the Runekeeper, I, I've, I've been told this before by him, but I didn't think about it. He's actually traded so he can drop that rock again in combat. There is no point to doing that whatsoever. That just nice complete waste of effort. I got a lot of damage put on myself for nothing, and it was just horrible. Uh, I've tried to spend this entire fight in Brawler Stance and put damage down, but I have not put enough damage onto the Runekeeper. I'm, I'm not doing a good job of breaking line of sight. I'm trying to, but it's just too little, too late at this point. Uh, 2,000 morale, I'm finished, and down I go. So uh, I come back again, and uh, take a look at my buff bar. If you'll notice um, on the right hand of my skills and everything, you'll see a stack of 88 of each type of buff potion. Notice I don't have any of those buff potions on underneath myself, and I'm trying to go three versus one. That is boneheaded. So this time I, I don't start in you know the walk mode, and I go right after Kivli, which is uh, also known as Shurs, who I've had many fights with his uh, with his creeps. Uh, now I unfortunately the, <laughs> I'm fighting him with where he's on the creeps and I'm on my creep, and it's just still not going well. I, obviously there's more people involved, but it's just a mess for for me this whole thing. Uh, I'm going ahead and using commander stance properly, so I'm trying to to see how well I can do without healing their damage outputs. Uh, I've moved myself out of range of my buff banner, so I don't have any of that going on right now which is uh, a bit of uh, a mistake, I'll say. Uh, there I went ahead and I popped quitters, which I uh, really should not have needed to. I do go ahead and put down the point defense right now, but I'm just not putting out enough damage and putting out enough healing to, to keep this going. I'm, I'm still in the line of fire of all three of them, and it's just not doing this at all. I, I can't tank three freeps damage. That's just too much. Um, it, and the other thing is, I'm just not, I don't have a good target. Um, you can pull off a 3 versus 1 if you have a squishy target that's, uh, you know, the right profile of, you know, this is a linchpin type guy. If you've got a hunter and there's no dedicated healer, you can go for that hunter and put him down. But there's other classes, particularly tactical classes, where they're a linchpin, but you just can't kill them very quick because of just the way that balance is. 
right now on the Etmores. Um, and you see in that with this Runekeeper, and you're going to see more of that as the thing goes on. It, he's just able to keep on standing. Uh, you know, the champion is the champion is squishier than him, but the champion has just many survival tools. The warden is actually probably the weakest of the bunch right here. And the thing is that killing the warden is just not going to do a whole lot for me. He's not going to be the linchpin DPS. Uh, he's going to be able to do all kinds of other stuff you know, to keep himself alive, never surrender, things like that, that I don't want to have to deal with. And so I don't have a good target out of this entire batch. I, basically, the Runekeeper is the best target to go for, but I don't have the sustainability, the survivability that, that I need. Why I don't have that? I don't have my buff pots on. So that's just my own fault. Yep. Hey, it's working. You just heard Pine Leaf talk about the trees, and yes, I'm doing an okay job with the trees. I mean, I'm staying alive a lot longer than I did that first attempt. So give me that at least. But I'm not running them out of power, really. I'm not staying alive. Uh, down I go right here. I should be dead right here. Yeah. Uh, almost you know, came back, but just didn't have it. Uh, here we go with round three. So, uh, as you can see, I've gone ahead and I've got a damage buff, and I've eaten food this time around. Still do not have defensive pots, which I need the defensive potions. The other thing I haven't done that I've realized later, I did not retreat for this fight. Um, I'm still walking around with improved res and improved bubble, and I should have empowering and damage boost slotted in here so I can actually kill stuff more quickly. So, you know, the more I that I've been able to think about this and such and I look back on it, the more I realize just how much I did not prepare for this whole fight. Um, right, so he you know, working maybe against different classes I would have done a little bit better, you know, ones that didn't have as many su survival stuff. Because, honestly, None of these guys is a very good target. Uh, this particular round, I tr I'm trying to go against the champion first and focus on him to see if that's what, you know, what where the key to this particular fight is. Uh, as you can see, you know, I can put damage on him, but he's able to heal it right up. And now the Runekeeper, he's able to, to spot heal as well, which is why I initially didn't bother going after one of the DPS classes, because the Runekeeper can go into healing mode. And But what I'm kind of hoping for is, you know, if I can get the Runekeeper into full healing mode, maybe I can make something happen. But it just doesn't work out here. I, I'm going around the trees and trying to break line of sight as much as I can. It's just a delaying action. And uh, I end up stopping recording because I run into lag issues. Uh, next fight, Pine Leaf is left, so it's now down to a 2 versus 1. So once again, I'm trying to go after the, the champion. I'm just seeing out how this works out in terms of damage output. But basically... It doesn't. Uh, if you look at the the chat box there, uh, I had Torak come by. I was actually thinking we would go with two v one, two v three with uh, two war leaders against these guys, but we just we ended up not doing that. He did give me a res after I died that last time, so that worked. But uh, yeah, just one more one more attempt for me. Uh, I don't have food. I still don't have my buff pots because you can see there I'm still at 88 on all of them. I've got 88 pots. I think I'm full on commendations right now. I've spent I spent the last couple months at the commendation cap not spending on anything. I, mean, I, I bought some more pots before I did that, but then I just spent a long time at, at com cap because I just didn't have anything I wanted to spend it on. I didn't want to it spend really it on my creeps or anything. Didn't have anything I, the creeps could buy. Yeah, it really is. Um, but yeah. I mean, it is, and as I just said, it is very obvious when it, there's not that third person to, in the entire engagement. But even with only th these particular two, I'm still stuck with that whole dilemma of there's not any good choice to go after. And that's that's mostly just because I'm on a war leader right now. It's like, if I had the Reavers DPS, I, it could be a different story. And we'll see that later when, the, when I actually get on my Reaver, because I do have a fight with the Reaver against all three of them, because I did the Reaver first, and then I brought out the War Leader, which that was another reason I was a little overconfident, is the way the Reaver fight goes, which we will talk about that when we actually get there. But, uh, you know, once again, you know, just unable to make any inroads. I'm just trying to stem the tide of their damage while taking just horrific amounts of damage from them, and I'm not putting out a whole lot. I, I've, I'm able to actually be in uh, Aura of Command for once, 
Whereas before, I was in defensive R the whole time, so that's a little bit more damage put out. But I'm still working with the point defense. I'm still working from commander stance. It's just not going to work out if I cannot you know, find a way to put more damage on these targets. I cannot get through 9,000 morale like this. He keeps on healing, all that stuff. And you know, part of that also might be just that they're being a bit more cautious because they're scared, you know, especially after that first one. You know, they're worried, rank 10 war leader, you know, he's well known on the server and stuff, but we're going to get killed. And that's just not what happens. I, so far, I'm I'm three and I'm 0 and 3. Well, they're 3 and 0. Well, there's three deaths of Ugmog versus trying to beat these guys. Um, I think I had to stop the recording there for a second. I, that's going to keep on happening, is because of my overconfidence and spending so much time with the, these other fights. I've now spent so long recording that I'm running into hard drive space issues and so I keep on getting massive amounts of lag and that that comes out and it bites me multiple times. Right, here we go, I'm, I'm in brawler stance, I'm, I've got the command post down so I'm, I'm going for a lot of damage but the, once again I'm going to have some real trouble with uh, putting on damage and staying alive and the other thing that's coming up is because there's two of them they've got stuns coming from two different people if I was just dealing with runekeeper stuns that's tough enough but uh, I've also got that champion with his stuns and his hamstrings to deal with as well and you know, the runekeeper is putting out a lot of stuns that the champ's using his very effectively I've almost got this runekeeper dead this is just Oh, so, so very close. And right there, I, I'm starting to hit some major lag, and I thought he was dead right there. I really did. I saw that 900, but I hit lag, and he manages to stay up, and I get killed there. I, I stop recording, and I die. Um, yeah, I think we are. One second. So I, I almost had them, so now I'm feeling a bit more confident about this. Um, you know, I, I feel there's still a, a way to get there, but still... I don't uh, we'll have the buff pots, and what I what I've learned recently, having come back after spending some time away from the game and everything, yeah, I'm and just what I said in that previous video that I mentioned already, yeah, it's fine. is yeah, just one, that one frame per second. Actually, you cannot fight uh, with one hand behind your back. You must pull out I those have buff it for my pots. Channel, then. Uh, <laughs> I actually had a fight with uh, Sinfri at Warden recently, and not the one. With and actually, this is also on Fellowship of the Creeps, but uh, when I was walking around, I, I ran into him. I had popped two of my potions, but I had not popped the armor one, and then I ran into him and fought him. Fought him for long enough that you know, I came close to killing him a couple times. I, there's, there's other stuff that happens there, and you can actually see that on Fellowship of the Creeps if you want to take a look at that. That's the latest episode where that just happened. Uh, it's like episode 40-something. But because I don't have that armor, bo po that armor pot... I don't have that extra layer of defense to keep me alive and allow me to actually, you know, strike through and and do. I get him to the point where I'm almost ready to burst him down, but I'm forced to to go back on the defensive too early. I'm not able to to finish him off, and in the end, he actually wins because he's able to finally get enough dot damage and uh, a good string of crits, and he actually manages to finish me off. Where you know, previously I could fight a word into a standstill. It's like if I if I wanted to, I could just turtle up properly, and they wouldn't be able to break it. Nowadays, with first agers and all that stuff, the warden will eventually get through your defenses. Um, and actually, one of the things that I'm kind of feeling now, as I've been playing around a bit more after having spent a couple weeks away from the game, I'm starting to feel like. Rank 10, rank 9 is not where balance is, certainly not with the war leader versus the free classes. I'm actually really starting to feel like the balance point with a war leader is actually at rank 11, which, I'm going to be perfectly honest, that is even more absurd. Because what, what I'm feeling right now is that I just don't have the damage that I need to have. Um, here, I, you know, as I said, I'm getting a fantastic string of shield bash crits, but you need to rely on shield bash crits to be able to do anything of, of significance. That's just, you know, no. no that is horrible. Um, I, I'm also having some trouble with swapping between multiple targets here, but... Uh, Black Speech, uh, the Enhanced Black Speech at rank 11, is basically the last major damage improvement that a war leader ever gets. That's 
the end of the line. After that, you know, you get Battle Fruit promotions, but there's nothing else, because uh, rank 12 is empty, because that used to be where you got point defense. Uh, rank 14, I believe, was the Banner of Horror, so that's gone. Uh, rank 13, I don't, I don't think there's anything at Rank 13 either, because I think that used to be Improved Purge. Um, maybe enhanced you black, enhanced right. menacing the lore. Keeper is so uh, yet, rank is, 15 no, is, sure imp is totally the improvement right for uh, uh, quitters never win. Them. So that's a healing improvement. Yeah. Yeah. You know, rank 11 is it. That's the end of the road for damage improvements. And I've, I'm kind of at the point where I feel like you know, if I don't have that black speech, I can't properly compete against the freeps, which is. You know, I uh, that is pathetic, absolutely pathetic. That to be of equivalent, you know, to a, to a high-ranked freep who's well geared and everything, I have to have invested enough time and effort to get all the way to rank eleven. I've played this game for four years, and I'm still not on par with them. I'm rank ten out of fifteen, and I can't be on par with a a a well-geared, not, not even like the best right geared, but a well-geared freep of various classes. Pretty much. I mean, that's just the end of, of it. I, I'm, I'm just so sick of the the, the, the balance stuff with that. That's Pretty just much. too much, honestly. Uh, here, once again, I'm, I'm trying to get, go in against the champion, and you know, the champion is easily the Could worst target to go need. for. It, it is way, way, way too terrible. Well, to, uh... Two more. It is very obvious and apparent that the champion is not the, the target to go for. The runekeeper is the target to go for. But what I am trying to do is I'm trying to spread the stuns. I'm trying to hopefully get the runekeeper to go after uh, you know healing and dang fully. And the one great thing about this particular round, which I think this is like round five or six, is I'm managing to keep enough pressure on them that the runekeeper is forced into healing mode. Where the the thing that got me in those other fights more than anything else is that the runekeeper was able to stay in damage mode and just do heal off healing and keep himself alive and then I just had too many da too much damage coming in from multiple sources to be able to do anything but with the runekeeper in full healing mode as I, I think I said a bit earlier basically we're at a stalemate now where the champion isn't doing enough damage to beat me the runekeeper is tossing some extra stuff in but that's uh, the end of it uh, I had to stop recording there but in the interim, I actually managed to get a very long string of shield bash crits, and I dropped the runekeeper, which that is just, you know, finally success. Uh, this is the last stages of it, and I'm just finishing off the, you know, oh, yeah, Andang's champion that, right now, which this is just, well, <laughs> this is how tough a, yeah, a, a, a champion really is with really no audacity. Just it was really over gonna keep on that. healing and healing. And although he doesn't have a chance of beating me, he's just going to delay it for an absurdly long amount of time. And it's not like the War Leader doesn't have this ability to, to delay a death for an absurdly long amount of time, too. He does. But the difference is the War Leader is a healing class, and a champion is a DPS class. And there shouldn't be any comparison yes. between their ability to stave off right. death on their own. And yet, there is. Did you see that string of shields, Dem Mac? That just went through, I think, 8k. I think so, yeah. And your So, uh, there, that, that's yep. the end of that. Uh, next up right, should so be the Reaver. Thank you guys so much for one episode of our, uh, three versus... Alright, so now is the Reaver, uh, and... Uh, three, uh, me, Pine Leaf, and... I am grouped up with the Warg at the start of this. I think I'm gonna leave groups shortly, I might not. Ivan is able to take down the Runekeeper. Then he wins, and if we keep the room keeper alive, then we win. So we will see how this works out here. And whenever you are ready, Ivan, to go ahead and start charging at us. So uh, you heard the rules right there. My my goal is uh, kill the, the room keeper. My my real goal is try to kill all of them. But I think we all know that's just not going to happen. Uh, maybe if I was ranked, you know, eight or nine, I had wrath might be in the realm of possibility. But uh, in, a, in any case, we're, we're going to just go at it and see how I, I'm able to do. Uh, so already, you know, I put out some decent damage, got some debuffs, but he healed everything right back up. And uh, I'm taking a beating. I'm almost at 50% morale now. I'm, I've hit, I've almost hit that 50%. I got a crit right there with 
Gut Punch, which uh, that gave me glory and victory, gives me the heal, gives me the damage. That that gave me what I need. Uh, got Dev Strike off. This is it. The Rune Keeper is finished. Uh, that was what, tw 20 seconds or so? Uh, unfortunately, I just don't have it in me to be able to finish off the last two. Uh, finally, still chucking away, and <laughs> we saw what happened when it was two versus one against that champion. So that's the, the end of that. Uh, but you see, the Reaver, you know, he's he's got three less ranks than the War Leader does, but the difference is, because he's a focused DPS class, he's got that firepower to be able to punch through the healing and you know, just be that armored fist come in pick his target uh, the squishy rune keeper in this case and really put the hurt on him the war leader you know, i can get some burst damage but it's very much based on luck right now i don't have the kind of burst damage potential uh, that the, the that the reaver does i certainly don't have the debuff arsenal that the the reaver does i don't have the on demand slows i don't have some of the other toys that he's got. I mean, I've got fun debuffs, so make no mistake about that, and they pair really well together with the Reaver's debuffs, but uh, for one person's toolkit versus the other, you know, the Reaver's going to win on the DPS front every time, because that's he's melee, he is the melee DPS class. Uh, the, the War Leader is like a, a third or fourth choice on that spectrum. But, uh, you know, that's uh, that kind of wraps that up. I mean, the big lesson there, obviously, is... Don't be an idiot and walk around carrying, you know, two stacks of the buff potions and not using them. Use your buff potions. Uh, in Rise of Isengard, I chose not to use my buff potions. I was still able to survive and exist and fight people on fairly even footing. And I lost fights where I was like, you know, if I'd used my potions, I would have won. And there were other war leaders around there that they were using the potions, you know, 100% of the time, all their fights, and so they had better win-loss ratios and stuff, but I, I chose not to do that, because I, I wanted to have closer fights, and I feel like, I felt like, and I still feel like, if I've got the buff potions, and I run into somebody who they would need to pop their scrolls and stuff to be able, to be competitive and blah, 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 then that's just not fair. The thing is that now, with the way balance is gone, you need those buffs to be competitive. We're, we're that far behind them. It's uh, like late Isengard, or um, late Mirkwood, or you know, Shadows of Angmar, all that kind of stuff. You know, the balance always gets out of whack towards the end of an expansion, and it's been you know, low down for the creeps before. It's just, in some ways, it hasn't been quite this low, because there's a lot of classes where it's blatant just how you know, effective they are, and their ability to stay alive and uh, you know continue to do damage and heal themselves and stuff. We've never had it to this extent before, where you've got the lore masters are doing it, the wardens are doing it, the champions are doing it, the hunters are doing it, the minstrels, the rune keepers. They, if they wear light armor, they can do it. If they're a warden, they can do it. If they if the if they've got uh, some kind of healing role, a captain can pull it off. Right, the champions are still f a bit of the flavor month. Pretty much the only class you run into that isn't doing that kind of shenaniganism is guardians, and your average hunter isn't. But their the average hunter hits so hard, and they've got other tools now that you know it's gotten to the point where you pretty much can't you know go anywhere without those pot those pots and the only thing that's compounded this is what something i've mentioned before but uh, mitigation base mitigation rates for creeps have not changed since Merkwood came out that is more than three years so that's where we're at you've got to have these pots to to deal with the fact that your mitigations your resistances your avoidances haven't improved this pretty much puts them above where they probably would be if you know they'd kept scaling to an appropriate level but basically, it makes up for that deficit, and then a little bit more. And it, it puts you back to a point where you can fight on par. But the thing is, you do have to have all three of them. And, th and there's still classes that you're going to match up against that you're not going to be able to, to make the, the inroads that you want and stuff. Uh, but you know, right now, I've pretty much abandoned my policy of not using those as much as possible. And uh, I'm, I'm on, the, I'm on the, the bandwagon of use your buff potions... P for plenty, uh, have them up all the time. Uh, the freeps are just, you know, out of control with their damage dealing. Particularly, the freep dot damage is beyond 
belief. I, if, if someone had told me back in Moria that one day the Freeps would not only be the masters of direct damage, but they would also completely eclipse creep dot damage, which back in Moria, creeps were all about the dot damage. That We had it on the Freeps in terms of dot damage. I never would have believed you back then. But that's where we are now. Creeps, there, our dot damage still still ticks in the same kind of ranges. We're still ticking, you know, between... It's like, you know, 200 plus-ish, you know, around there, we, we, which is, you know, a good chunk of morale, make no mistake. But you look at what the Freeps are ticking for, and they've got multiple classes that can have dots that tick for a thousand without a crit. And there's just no question about it. So, you know, we got balanced stuff that's coming down the pipe. Uh, creep, freeps are getting class revamps, and the, the devs have, talk, have already stated that after the Freeps get their class revamps, they're going to take a look at monster play. So we're going to see how stuff shakes out. Um, unfortunately... <laughs> My personal take right now is just that we've got we've got a long road ahead of us before we get to somewhere that was balanced, and it's hard to look at that road after the the start of Rohan, all before update nine and ten, really, when we were so much closer to balance than we've ever been before in this game, and it was so much fun, it was glorious, and and now we've we're going you know backwards again, back to creeps being definitely the underdog. And it's hard to go back, but on another level, I kind of relish that challenge. It'll be fun to go back. Just as once I actually get over this whole needing to to go back there, get get back in the proper mindset and frame and everything, then it'll be good. And once and then the, <laughs> once it's all good and we get everything sorted, then you know no problems. But uh, until I get myself mentally over that hurdle, I'm still gonna be dragging my feet and wishing that we didn't have to go through it but uh, you know I'm gonna be optimistic about this I'm gonna say right now that it's gonna be hard as we go through the the free revamps and the classes are gonna get all kinds of stuff go happening we're gonna hit the next expansion and nothing's gonna really be changed on the creep so we'll, we'll go up in morale and stuff and it's gonna be a hard number of months but I I'm gonna say right now when they get through those free class revisions, and when they get to the monster play stuff, and when we finally get monster play looked at after that all takes place, that when they get finished with the monster play revamp that follows the free classes, we're going to be even closer to balanced than we were at the start of Rohan. And I think it's going to be worth waiting for. I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to make that call right now. Uh, mark it down. So... I uh, I'm going to stay stick with it. I will still be here. I will still be making videos. I will still be be relearning how to play the class as the times change and everything and reworking what I what I know about it and challenging my conceptions and everything. And uh, hopefully you guys stick along for the ride and hopefully I am right. And at the end of this we find that things get better. You know, but they're going to get worse before they get better. I can guarantee you that. Anyway, that's all for this time. Uh, hopefully you're also feeling optimistic about the future and uh, still willing to stick out in the present. And you know, good on you if you're sticking it out. Good luck and have fun out there, everybody. Ugmog is out. <laughs>